Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my current summer 2020 makeup routine. It's glowy and it's flawless. I absolutely love it. A lot of the products are the same. I, again, I don't change my products if I love them, but I do have a few new ones that I am obsessed with, I'm loving, and they are perfect for summer. So let's get started. I have absolutely nothing on my face right now. I took a shower. The first product that I put on my face after I wash my face in the morning is the Skin Ceutical CE Ferulic Acid. They say a vitamin C serum in the morning is great because it combats against the sun. So I just put a few drops on and I will just rub that all over my face. I also love this because it is a brightening agent. So this is part of my skincare routine. I also come down my neck and then with whatever I have left over, I put them on the back of my hands because I always remember my grandmother. She has um, sunspots all over her hand. I love them on her. However, I like to keep my hands looking young. So after I put this on, I go in under my eyes. My eyes are super dry. Um, they're getting so many more wrinkles. This is the Alba Hydration Sensation. It's very cooling. I love this. It feels good. It has this metal rolly ball on the end and I just roll this under my eye and it really depuffs everything. Sometimes I will even put it on my eyelid. It just feels so good and it moisturizes. After I put on the Alba Eye Hydration Gel, I go in with the Tula Rose Glow. This is amazing for brightening under the eye. As I've gotten older and I get less sleep, I have a lot of dark circles under my eyes, so this really brightens and wakes up the under eye area. And I will just rub that on, kind of in a triangular shape. And then I'll just dab that into the skin. I do like to let every product settle a little bit, especially the skincare and the moisturizers before I go in with my makeup products. This is the new product that I found and I'm obsessed with it. This is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield in Glow. It's got a 50 SPF. I put this on every day. Even if I don't do my makeup, I'll put this on. It gives me a beautiful glow. It blurs the imperfections. It's so pretty. It's got the high SPF in it. It does not break me out. I'm absolutely obsessed with this product. And I'll just squeeze a little bit onto my fingers and I will rub it all over my face. As I've gotten older, I'm realizing how important sunscreen is, so I always put some type of sunscreen on, and this is the one that I have been grabbing lately. I absolutely love it. Now that we have the skin prepped, we're gonna go in with our foundation. I have tried so many foundations over the past year, I tried new ones, and I keep going back to this. This is the Beauty Counter Tint Skin. I swear, this makes your skin look so flawless. It doesn't settle into pores or fine lines. It lasts all day, and it looks so natural. I am obsessed with this product. They do have a new foundation, but I like this one more. It's, it just seems to melt into the skin. It's just so pretty. I love it. I can't get enough of it. I wear it anytime I'm going somewhere that I want my makeup to last and look really good or if I'm taking photos. And I am in the shade sand in the summer and linen in the winter. After foundation, I go in with my concealer. Y'all have seen this before. I have not found anything better. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer. This is lightweight. It lasts forever. It's not thick. It's not drying. It gives a satin, almost dewy look to under the eye so that they're brightened, but yet not greasy. I love it so much more than the Tarte Concealer. I know everyone loves that tape shape or shape tape. Um, this one is so much better in my opinion, maybe because it's I'm older and I have more fine lines under my eyes, but this stuff is phenomenal. I always wear the shade 1C Light Cool both summer and winter because it really brightens my under eye area. I will put them kind of in a very small triangle shape under my eyes. I put a little bit on top of my eyelids just to shade that redness. And then I also create a line down my nose gonna brighten everything up a little bit and I'm gonna take my concealer brush and just blend all of that in mm -hmm. 
this is another new product I've been using. It's the NARS Laguna Liquid Bronzer. I love this. It gives the most natural, beautiful bronze look to your skin. It's not too matte, not too shimmery. It almost gives the satin sheen. It's gorgeous. I love it. I think it would be really pretty on lots of skin tones. I just pump it into my Bucci brush and I just put those underneath my cheekbones and then we're just going to buff it in really well under the cheekbones, around, up above the temples, and on my jawline. I do like to sometimes put a little bit on the sides of my nose to look like the sun has hit there. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of color to my face. This is the Tarte Cream Blush. I think this has been discontinued. I can't find it anywhere. It has literally rubbed off on the container, but it is magic. I've had it forever. It lasts forever. I will see if I can link some products that are similar that you would be able to use. Any type of cream blush, find a color that you like that works well with your skin tone. I do think it's important if you want your makeup to last forever to always add a cream product before you put the powder product on. This gives a bright rosiness to my cheeks and face. Now we're gonna go in and set all of our cream products with powder products. I usually start with the chiseling of my bronzer. This is the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm. I just do under my cheekbones, down my neck a little bit, bridge of the nose, around the temples, and that is all I do for contouring. Now I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. I love the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I do use a couple bronzers. This is a matte one. It's really good just to set a nice base, set that cream bronzer that we used. And last, I love the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light. This gives the most gorgeous glow, brightness. I love the color of it. It goes really well with my skin tone. We're gonna set that blush with the Tarte Expose. This blush lasts forever, especially over a cream blush. I've been using this blush in shade for years. I think it looks so pretty on so many different skin tones. I am gonna add a little pop of pink since it's summer. This is the Bobbi Brown blush in pale pink number nine. I do just a touch of it because it is very bright. Now we're gonna set the under eye area. I have multiple products that I like. Right now I have been loving the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Keeps my eyes from creasing. It really helps brighten my under eye area. I do go around my nose a little bit on my nose and then up between my eyes and a little bit up my forehead and then on my chin. Now we are going to blend the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder with the Hourglass Ambient Incandescent Strobe Light. This will literally blur all your imperfections, your pores. It's so pretty. It gives a glow, a sheen to the skin. This is one of my favorite products ever. I'm obsessed and I just brush it anywhere we didn't put the bronzer or the blush. Now that we have the face ready to go and all done, we're gonna go in with the eyes. And what I like to do first is I will curl my eyelashes because I have the perfectly straight down short eyelashes. I will curl them with the Shu Yumura Yumura eyelash curler. I don't know how to say that. This is the best eyelash curler though. And then I will also use the Shiseido eyelash curler. And then I'll put some mascara on. I'll let that mascara dry for a little bit and then I'll go back and curl them again just because it seems to keep my lashes curled longer. So I'm gonna put a little mascara on. This is the Ciate Wonder Wand Mascara. So after I've curled my lashes, I'll just put a little bit of mascara on. I'll let that mascara dry, and while it's drying, what I like to do is my eyebrows. Now my favorite eyebrow pencil I'm out of right now, it is the Maybelline New York Brow Ultra Slim. This thing is phenomenal. I'm in the shade 250 Blonde. Since I'm out, I'm going to use the Flower Eyebrow Pencil. I do like this one as well, not as much. It is in the shade Blonde as well. And I'm just gonna define my eyebrows a little bit more. 
Now that I have my eyebrows filled in, the mascara on my lashes are dry, I'm gonna go in with the heated eyelash curler. This thing is a lifesaver for those of you that have straight down lashes. I do still have to use my regular eyelash curler, but I go in with this. I kind of heat up and curl up my lashes and then I immediately follow up with my eyelash curler. It works wonders and keeps my lashes curled for so much longer. Now that I've got my lashes curled, I'm gonna go in with an eye primer. This is the Wet n Wild Take on the Day Eyeshadow Primer. This is a really old product. I rediscovered it. I don't know if it's available. I also like the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primers. This one just for some reason seems to be working better for me right now. I have found that my eyelids have gotten so oily recently. And if I don't wear an eyeshadow primer, my eyeshadow um, will not stay at all. For eyeshadow, my mom got this for me for Christmas. This is the Beauty Counter Eyeshadow Palette. It has so many gorgeous colors. I'm so obsessed with this. You can create so many different looks. It's so, so pretty. All over my lid, I'm gonna go in with the shade Slipper. In my crease, I'm gonna go in with the shade Suede. Now before I do the outer corner of my eyes with eyeshadow, I am going to define the top of my eyelids with some eyeliner. I have said this eyeliner before, I have not changed for years. This is the Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in the shade Earl Grey. Brown just does not look good on me. My eyes are a little bit red and then black is too harsh. Earl Grey is absolutely perfect. <laughs> Now I just put eyeliner on the upper eyelid. I do not put any on the lower. I usually just put mascara on my lashes down there. Next I'm going to blend that cream eyeliner that I just put on with some of this powder eyeshadow. I like to mix the bittersweet and the smoke. Sometimes I will mix in port as well. Again, the key to getting your makeup to last forever is always set any type of cream product you have with a powder product. Now we're going to blend in that eyeliner at the end with a little bit of eyeshadow in the outer corner. I'm going to mix the haze and the burgundy together. I do like to take my sponge that I use to put my under eye powder on to kind of brush away any eyeshadow that has dropped or fallen just to brighten that under eye area again. Now I'm going to go in with my mascara. I'm going to use the Ciate London mascara again. I'm going to now get my bottom lashes a little bit and then we're going to hit the top lashes one more time. And at the very end, I like to add a little pop of slipper on the inner corner of the eyes just to give your eyes a nice bright pop. We are done with the eyes. I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter to the top of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, make my face really glow. And this is the Tarte Exposed Highlighter. I love it. And then lastly, I will put on my lip combo. If I really want it to last, I do use three different types of lip glosses, which I know is over the top, but it does last a few hours for me and it gives me the perfect shade of a pinky noob. Before I go in with any type of lipstick or lip gloss, I like to clean my lips off with this. I believe it's used to shave your face actually. I get so much dead skin on my lips that whenever I put lipstick or lip gloss on, it looks so bad. So I just go through and this just kind of takes off all that dead skin on my lips. And I love this little tool. I got this on Amazon. So I'm just exfoliating my lips with this. First, I go in with my Flower Beauty. This is in the shade Pink About Me. They have discontinued this. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out of it because I have found nothing that is similar to it. It's super opaque, it's super moisturizing, it's the perfect shade of a pinky nude. I'm obsessed with it. And I just kind of blend that in with my finger. Next, I go in with the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Tease. <laughs> And lastly, I love this liquid lip. It is the Lawless Parker. So pretty. It's a bubblegum pink, very light. 
I do also keep this product in my purse. This is a new product. I've been using it for a year now. I absolutely love it. It's the Color Science Sun Forgettable SPF 30. It's water resistant and it is a loose powder mineral sunscreen. I'm in the shade medium and what I'll do is I just brush it on over my face everywhere if I'm going to be outside and that way I can still keep my makeup looking beautiful. It doesn't interfere and it protects my skin from the sun. I absolutely love this product as well. This is my summer 2020 makeup routine. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.